Hello and welcome to the University of Iowa Healthcare Organ Transplant Education. I'm Nick Weig, a father, husband, journalist, storm chaser, and now recipient of a life-saving transplant. With these videos, we hope to inform you about the organ transplant process and find out if an organ transplant is the right choice for you. Throughout this series, we will cover some logistics, transplantation details, post-surgery information, as well as the importance of the caregiver's role. These videos are meant to be supplemental to the other information you'll receive and are not necessarily comprehensive. Please take note of any questions you have. At the end of each video, they will provide you with contact information. Not all people are ready to move forward with transplant. You can stop the evaluation or listing process at any time. Let's talk about the big picture. You are here today because you can live a normal life after transplant. You want to have a longer life, and you also want a better quality of life than other choices offer. The first step will be your evaluation day. Be ready for a busy day as you come to the hospital. You'll speak with many members of the transplant team. There will also be many tests done. That involves lab tests and some blood work. This helps us get answers about your transplant candidacy as soon as possible. Now, let's meet the UI Healthcare transplant team. They have an amazing team of experts who will help with your evaluation day. The transplant nurse coordinator is your contact for all questions or concerns prior to transplant. They, along with the nursing assistants and transplant navigators, help you through the evaluation, listing, and waiting phases of transplantation. The surgical and medical physicians will review your medical and surgical past. They will also do a physical examination and go over labs and other tests. They will talk with you about the benefits and risks of transplantation, and they will also ask you some key questions. You will have a psychosocial consultation. For this, you meet with a psychologist and or social worker. They are here to help you and your caregivers find and overcome any obstacles to transplant. They will help get solutions for a successful surgery. They will also speak with you about your mental health and medical history. They can give you community resource information as well. You will meet with a financial counselor. They will review your insurance coverage to make sure you have transplant benefits. Since all healthcare coverage is different, they will need to look for financial barriers. This will help make sure you can cover the costs of transplant. It is a time to talk about out-of-pocket costs as well. It is vital to make sure you have proper long-term medication coverage. This is key because you will take medications for the life of your transplant. A transplant pharmacist will talk with you about your medication history and current medications. They will also give you information about medicines you will take after transplant. They will also discuss the importance of following medication instructions, your ability to follow a medication schedule, and the importance of using a pill box organizer. You may have side effects from medication. There can be issues getting or taking your medication. The transplant pharmacist will give you information on how to talk about these with your care team. One of the most important parts of your transplant evaluation day is testing. This includes drawing blood for laboratory tests and other medical tests. The amount and types of tests will depend on your history and evaluation findings. The team will let you know of any other testing. As we end this video, we want to share the program's contact information. Please reach out if you have any questions. No part of this process goes on without your consent. Remember, the transplant team is here for you.